Hold on, guys. Okay, kids, dinner's ready. Adam, would you mind turning that down, please? Mm, this looks so good. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, honey. Adam, that game is so loud. Now turn it off and come and eat. After this game. Oh. Not one to have to do this. What'd you do that for? I was about to win. Are you trying to upset the neighbors with the loud gunshots? Now go over there and eat before your food gets cold. The neighbors? We used to never have to worry about the neighbors at our last place. Well, we don't live in our old home anymore, Adam. I don't even know why you would bring that up. Because I don't want to live here. This apartment sucks, and it's so small. How are all of us supposed to share that room? Look, honey, please. Let's just try to make it work for right now, okay? Now, who could that be? Hi, can I help you? Hi, I'm Karen. I live next door. I came by because I thought I heard some gunshots. Oh, <laughs> that's just my son playing his video game. That loud. Doesn't he realize other people live in this building, too? Yes, you're right, and I will talk to him about it. Good. I know you just moved in, so I don't want to have to file a noise complaint already. I appreciate that, and it won't happen again. I sure hope so. We almost got our first noise complaint. So? I hope you get kicked out. I hate this dump. Look, I'm sorry. This is all we can afford right now, okay? You shouldn't talk to her like that. Oh, whatever. I still don't get why mom and dad had to get a divorce. To be honest, I'd rather live with dad. Shh. <laughs> get out of here, Max. This food is yours. How'd it go? Not good. That neighbor has two kids and a dog. That apartment's way too small for all of them. They have a frog? No, I said dog. Great, now we have to deal with barking too. Who's parking? Never mind. This doesn't affect you. You don't hear anything anyway. Oh, that dog is so loud. I'm going back over there. Shoo, Max. This food isn't for you. Mom, someone's at the door. Mom? Okay, I'm coming. Hi, Karen. Doesn't that dog ever stop barking? Oh, no, I, I, I didn't realize you could hear that. Max, shh, quiet down. I am so sorry about that. We're all still getting used to living in a smaller place. You see? Well, you won't be living here long if you don't get your kids and that dog under control. I tried to be nice earlier, but now I am going to file a noise complaint. Oh, no, no, please don't. You don't have to do that. It was so hard for us to find this apartment in the first place. I will keep the noise down, I promise. Fine. But this is your last warning. Great. Our neighbor officially hates us. Max! Oh, you just made a big mess. No, Max, stop! Come on. Want me to help clean that up? It's fine, honey, I'll do it. Let me go grab the vacuum. Well? Well what? Where's the person that was parking? No one was parking, Roger. The neighbor's dog was barking. They're really getting on my nerves with all that noise. We have neighbors now? Just forget it, it's pointless. What in the world? Are they vacuuming? It's seven o'clock at night, I don't believe it. Enough is enough. Hour. 
Karen, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was this late. You've been nothing but trouble since you moved in next door. I tried to be nice, but... Karen, I... Don't you Karen me. I told you before, this was the last warning. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't file a noise complaint right this second. Listen, I am trying the best that I can, okay? I know you don't want us here, but we have no choice. You see, a week ago, everything was perfect. The kids were asleep. I was having a quiet night at home with my husband. But little did I know my whole world was about to turn upside down with a single text from my own best friend. That's when I started looking into things more. The way he would look at her, the way she would comment on all of his photos. It was right in front of me all along. I was just too blind to see it. And then yesterday, I come home early from work. When I opened the door, that's when I saw them laying in bed together. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was betrayed by my husband and backstabbed by my best friend all at the same time. All I could do was cry. And the worst part of it all, he didn't even have any remorse. He just told me to pack my things, take the kids, and go. That's how heartless he was. So you see, that's what my past few days have been like and why I really need this apartment. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dear. I had no idea you were dealing with all that. You poor thing. So, so that's why you and dad separated. She cheated. I'll give you some time to talk. I didn't want to say anything to you because I didn't want you to look at him differently. All this time, I thought it was your fault. I feel so bad now for how I've been treating you. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, honey, it's okay. I know that this is, this is a lot for both of you to deal with. Oh, I love you kids so much. I love you too. <laughs> I love you so much, Roger. <laughs> I had enough of this. Just give me my cash and check so I can go. Security! This man gave me a fake ID, lied about his job, and now he's trying to deposit a fraudulent check. Trying to make a simple transaction. Oh, you people are so typical. Always using race as your get-out-of-jail-free card. 